So without intention, I have been neglecting. Uh, I've been neglecting you, YouTube. What up, YouTube? Uh, it's because I started a Facebook group. Uh, if you if you want to follow that, it's uh, Cancer Not Cancer, and uh, that one is for a profile just sort of that's a lot more PC basically <laughs> a lot more uh, palatable to the more uh, to the less dick pic friendly audience and uh, you uh, Facebook you can just live stream the whole thing was like uh, encouraged by one of my friends who says like oh, live stream is the way to go you should be live streaming and uh, you can't do that on uh, the faith tube. You can uh, you can't do that on YouTube with a phone unless you have some sort of a, a Premiere account or something. I haven't really looked into it to be honest. Um, and what I've been doing uh, this month is I was going to try and do a marathon uh, every single day because there was something that was on my hospital's um, sort of portal when you sign on to their Wi-Fi, you know, the way they always sort of demonstrate something like their homepage, uh, where it was uh, run, uh, you know, 26.2 miles over the course of 26 days of September. And I looked at that and I was like, oh, sure, it'd be more fun if it was 26.2 miles every day for 26 days. Uh, and I started, I started off and I tried to do as much as possible. I wasn't going to run it every day because that'd be insane. Um, especially during chemotherapy, but I did intend on doing it just by foot. And something that got uh, that happened very quickly was I just started getting blisters. So it was my skin that was deteriorating and breaking down, and I was getting fucking uh, nipples chafing. Uh, at one point, I didn't notice it on the actual run, but then when I was just sitting down, what well, like having food and watching television, my like the ass crack like right down in the middle of my butt cheeks just like set on fire and I like pulled my cheeks apart into the mirror being like what the fuck is causing that and uh it was like two two fingers had like you know the way they do that in uh in films with like the ash of a of a fireplace for like the American Indians who aren't Indians <coughs> or like football players it was like that one cheek each <whistles> down like that fucking red hot and so i was like all right maybe this isn't gonna be uh a doable in a way that's not gonna be stupid because apart from anything else during chemotherapy uh one of the reasons why your hair follicles fall out is because it stops or at least it prevents um new cells forming that's the whole idea sort of not really uh of breaking down cancer cells so new new cells don't form as well so if i have a load of blisters and rashes you know i'm gonna end up looking like I've, I've got fucking a's with a lot of lesions all over my face and it's not very pleasant to go running and that sort of shit so i um i changed it up and now i am trying to uh, go uh, about a half marathon every day. The distance from the hospital and back is seven, <coughs> seven miles. So there and back, there and back again, a hobbit's tail. There and back is a little bit over a, uh, a half marathon. So I'm happy enough with that. And then I'm trying to think what things need to be caught up with. Yeah, that's about it. Something that I'm going to start adding in is really just for my personal ego is uh, my arms are already starting to fade away. And when I oh, plant this down, literally when, shit, don't you dare gravity, don't you dare. Literally when I'm just like sort of going like that or, you know, just have my hands on my biceps, I feel them getting like, you know, like they're just fat, like they're just kind of flabby and it just like kind of go, mm, <laughs> makes me feel bad. And I don't particularly care about like, you know, yeah, getting huge or anything, but it's just like, mm, I probably wouldn't win an arm wrestling match anymore. I'm fading away. What's happening to me? Uh, yeah, I just want to like not have that back. Like, you know, have them feel more like a, 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 a steak that was a bit burnt rather than 
tenderized fucking mince meat like they are at the moment. And um, so before, and I, I'm too too tired when I get back in, way too tired for obvious reasons to to do much. I'm not even playing video games anymore because it's too much effort. Like get into the war zone. Fuck that. I don't have the mental capacity to, you know, do that sort of high reaction stuff. Tactical moves with my, you know, fellow teammates. I can't be up to that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and just, like, lift a few uh, weights every day. Pull-ups, press-ups, and then, like, a bit of that stuff. And just before I go out on the trot. And 15 minutes, nothing particularly um taxing but i am gonna do one now and i may as well record it i suppose just show what i'm up to and um yeah so it's not gonna drain away from my ability to run uh and it's just gonna sort of keep my musculature and i think it'll just sort of keep me uh in the right sort of happy place where i look at myself in the mirror and i go yeah, you're the boy, you're the man. And then same thing. Like, like I'm demonstrating now that like this is a sort of a way that I would naturally sort of stand around and I don't get sad thinking like, you know, oh, you're, you've got vegan biceps. And um, no, I'm not making fun of vegans before you get upset. Um, yeah, so... Sure, I may as well just fucking power through. I'm not going to be arsed at it or... Um, Meditating, editing. <clears throat> right, so I should start running in order to get to my appointment in time. <coughs> I should get running in a uh, half nine was my estimate. Uh, Alexa, play Tuesday's Gone. Tuesday's Gone by Lynyrd Skynyrd on Amazon Music. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't come in as some copyright infringement. It'll be kind of fucked up if it is, seeing as how Leonard Skinner died in a uh, uh, in a plane crash altogether, and uh, so. People that would be claiming the rights to their songs, you know, wouldn't have written them or performed them. But I suppose that's the same thing for a great deal of musical artists. Prince is one of the few who's like really on point about his uh, <clears throat> keeping, I can't remember what it's called, artistic rights. I think that might be it. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is a little circuit that I used to uh, used to do at like the end of a workout. So it's just gonna be four exercises. They're all just done with the same amount of weights. And the idea is, is that you kind of build up the strength of your hands by not letting go of the weights. I haven't done this in ages, so I definitely will let go of the weights. So I'll just do a warm up first. Do five exercises of each one. So I'll start with bicep curls and then I think that's five. Goes up into overhead press. And the idea is to keep the tempo very, very slow. I think I've mentioned this in a previous video. Slowness going down. And you can speed it up a little bit for going up, but the down motion going slow, that really makes muscles a lot bigger. There's some pass over, makes them stronger as well, but you can kind of choose whether you want to make a muscle stronger or whether you want to make a muscle bigger. Okay, third exercise. Can't remember what this one's called now. Ladders. <clears throat> a 
lat rise, I think it is. Anyway, you're focusing on your uh, your shoulders. Lateral delt rises, that's what it was. I knew it wasn't to do with your lat. And then finishing with uh, tricep kickbacks. And these ones are kind of tricky to target, I've found, to get them just right. But um, it's easier with, if you have a mirror to look into to make sure that you are like down in a proper skiing position. But something that I've found that's a a little cheat sort of thing is if you have something that you can touch your head to just to sort of keep your head from going up and up and up and up like this because your head will want to so you just use it as a marker and straighten your arms back like that your arms don't have to go exactly straight but just kicking back like that and hold them at that position so in here they're not really working too much that's where they really start to go. So keep up in that area for as long as you, well not for as long as you can, but just put the squeeze on them. Right, so that's the warm up done. So this is going to be the actual uh, workout part of it. So the aim is 10 and when we're going up, very, very slow at the top here. Try not to have the elbows go forward because then the, the weights are resting here. So what I find is really good is if you dig your elbows right in tight to your body like this. And then as you're up, keep them at this angle, don't go to here. You will, your body will naturally just want a tiny bit of rest and they'll try and cheat you out of it. And then as you're going down, do the same thing. Don't have the weights weight down here. Always keeping the pressure on them. So up and down, as close to that as you can. <clears throat> Straight into the overhead press now. Same sort of thing, slow going up and slower going down. So these are only tiny lightweights, these are only eight kilograms. 
and they really do they're very quickly enough like you could give me a 15 kilogram more and I could easily do the same exercises but like pushing them fast and letting them you know come down under a safe control against gravity but letting gravity do most of the thing <sighs> this a lot more what's called time under tension or TUT is what you'd see it as in articles Play Blue Monday. Here's Blue Monday by New Order on Amazon Music. Also, I just like to say I really hope that if you have one of those speaker things in your own house and for whatever reason you've got my video playing very loud. It's fucking with what you have. <clears throat> that would absolutely delight me. Last one of the first set. Seeing as that is the first time I've done this in a long time, I'm just gonna do three. I think I'm just going to do two and a half with the warm up as the half because it is seven minutes away from being half nine and starting back taking it easy uh, I'm old enough at this stage and I've sort of come back to training enough times over my life to know that um, the first time you come back to something, you often get like really bad pains for whatever it may be. So if you haven't run in a while and you go for a run, you're terribly unfit and then your legs wreck for ages. <clears throat> and so my arms probably will be wrecked for ages after this, even though it's not that much effort. And also, um, I'm rereading an old book called uh, The Power of Habits. And uh, oh, it reminded me about how the the whole uh, willpower being the same as a muscle uh, in that you can make it stronger but also you can tire it out so I don't want to put in any amount of excessive effort in when I'm going to have a seven mile run a break and then a seven mile run back so I'm not gonna be taking this one too easy seven miles is uh, 
is about 10k. I don't know if it's a little over or a little under. Uh, five miles is 8k, like quite close. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'd say it's about uh, a little over 10k, maybe 10 and a half. No, no, that's stupid. That's stupid. It's much more than that. It would be closer to 12. Because 7 miles times 2 there and back is 14, which is over a half kilometre. A half kilometre is 13.1. Um, Thirteen point one miles and a half marathon in kilometers is twenty one. So I'd say it's twelve. Just taking it as if it was. Last ten. Yeah, downhill skiing here. We're doing the what's the big jump? The Louvre. I don't think it's the Louvre. I think that's the. That might be the one where you you go down the the tube thing. Like in cool runnings. Uh, what Eddie the Eagle used to do. Right, so uh, just about half nine there. Right, I'm gonna boogie. Um, I'll see if I do like a, a how am I getting on thing around when I reach the hospital, which is be halfway. Uh, just to sort of uh, follow up on how today is going. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I'm following it all by Strava, so you'll be able to, I'll put a, a screenshot and add that in at some point as well to show you how good the timing is. Ideally, I would want to be doing five minute uh, per kilometer pace, but 
I'm not gonna keep that set in stone. Let's just see how we go.